Hey, this is Melissa with the Stock Swish, and I'm here today with Philip to review how the day went. Overall, the day was, I would say, long. It's 3.30. Philip just got out of his trade, and warning started early today. The bullish gap in Bing did work today as long, but it was wild. It was a wild, wild, whippy ride. Um, some people made money in this today because they didn't put in a stop. Philip took a stop in it um, because it did stop out and it collapsed through the stop. So let's just look at what happened. So this lifted, boom, you were actually up in here, probably never saw it. Luckily you did have the stop in, collapsed. Somebody in the room didn't have a stop in, he made money in it. See, if I didn't have a stop in, I would have added here in this, because right away so I was like, oh gosh darn it, it's gonna work. But then I definitely would have been out up into here. And 55 was a target. It was tough to do all morning then. All morning it was hard. And then it set up again and it did have another move, but it was very, very late. Let's see exactly what time did this set up. Wow, this was really tough today. You wouldn't have bought it in here. It would have been too sketchy. You could have bought it in here around one o'clock, but bad timing. Again, with the market, with the yelling talking, you don't know. This was the entry though that took it back up and went back over 55. It was very hard to trade today. And it's a long, and we don't do longs that often. Some people made money in this. Philip took a loss. Costco was a quick, quick, quick trade that I moved right off on top of after the big stopped out. Fast thinking I was this morning. Broke, dropped, you're up right away. A couple hundred bucks, retested, almost stopped out. Never saw this number the rest of the day. Hit it off, it just took forever to go. Forever and ever 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 and ever. Here's all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. This is all, look how weak it is now. You can see it now really how beautiful it looks. So in here, you could have gotten out. You could have gotten out in here. You got to compromise with yourself. So Philip got out in this area here, lowered the stop. This could have pushed back here and held and broke again. Yes. It looked beautiful, yes, it, it broke 170. But the time of the day is so late. We've got 20 minutes left. It's not going to keep going today, but it looks it looks good for a short into Monday, maybe. Yes. Depends on the market does. Yeah. Oh, that's really. And then the last one is target. Philip added to his target option today. It broke, actually went to 57.09. Hit, broke on through, broke the low of the gap that happened back in here on 228. It looks great. Let's just look at this chart. So here's where it was at today. Here's the next area here, the 56.50. It's in sight. So how many shares do you have of this now? 40 contracts is just 4,000 shares, and this could go straight down. I mean, this could really look good. Again, you have people that bought this in here. What a stupid buy. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And that day was a great bearish gap, but it didn't work as a day trade, but I told you it was good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah look, the chart's broken here. And I'd love to see you have a huge trade in this. Four grand or more than that. Really, it's going to depend, though, on if this gap's down on Monday, what the market does next week. I mean, there's, ooh, there's an invisible tech. Mm -hmm. There's so many things now you gotta watch because, I mean, this market gap down today and then rallied again. How, it's crazy. I'm glad you got out of the Costco where you did. All right, so that is the roundup for today's trades. All in all, it was not an easy day, but I think you did good. You did the you. best that you could have, yes, and you're going to hold this into next week. If you had, actually, if you had gotten out of this, what was the high of this? 600? Um, if you had exited this today, when it was down to the low, were you at 500 or 600? Oh, well, I was up, uh, I think it was about 550. And if you had gotten out with 1100, you would have made 1650. Yes. I wanted you to, that's why I want you to look at this right. hole. I think so this is fine right. you're holding right. it. But, you know, you really did do well today. You gave Costco a little more room. Yes. I think that was that fine. Off. Yeah, it, it, yeah it, it did pay Not off. Pay. Yes. Yeah. Or could have. It could have gone down to 169, but it was yes. a nice trade. Yeah. This is Melissa with the Stock Swoosh. Email me at Melissa at thestockswoosh.com for more information. This is just a review of today's trades, Friday, March 3rd. Have a good weekend, everyone.